Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this ad called Parent Function Node because for some reason every time I see it I get kind of confused about what it is. Anyway, to get started on this, I'm just in a third person template. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a parent blueprint class. And then from that parent we can create children that inherit functionality from the parent. So I've done a tutorial about this in the past and I'll put a link to that in the description but I just want to show you this node up close and personal. So we're going to right click here and go to blueprint class and we're going to go to actor and we're going to call this BP underscore parent and we'll double click into it. And this is just going to be a super simple example. So if we come into the event graph, we have these nodes that come in here, right? And so just to show you something here, I'm going to drag off of here and just print a string. And I'm just going to say something like session started, right? This is parent functionality that our child will inherit this print string session started. Now we can also create a custom event. So I'm going to right click and go add custom event. And I'm going to call this send message. Now what's interesting about this is that just like the child inherits from the parent, the child can reach out to the parent and say, hey, can I borrow the car? Can I get an extra 20 bucks? So even though the child inherits from the parent, the child can still call to the parent and say, hey, can you do this for me? It's very interesting, the relationship, the parent-child relationship, and this, is, this ties right into it. So we're creating this special event that says send message, right? And all we're gonna do here is print a string. We're not even gonna put anything in the string, we're just creating a print string function. So we're just gonna go print string, and we can go ahead and make this, let's say 10 seconds long so it stays on the screen, and type in 10. Okay, now this is a cool function. On custom events, we can add inputs so that data can be sent to the event. And a simple way to do that is if we just click on this string and drag it to the node, it automatically creates the input for us. So now we can send data as well as trigger an event. So we're just going to compile and save this. And if we click on the here, you'll see there's no value in the string. There's no data in the string. It's just the print string function with no data. We're going to send data to it from the child. So we'll compile and save that again. Now we're going to come over here and we have our blueprint parent. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go create child blueprint class. So this now inherits all the functionality from the parent and the child can still reach out to the parent and say, hey, can you print something for me? So what we're going to do is we're going to double click into this and we're going to go ahead and dock this up top. And here's some interesting things. If we come into the event graph, see how these are all dimmed out? And that's because these functions are coming from the parent. So that's why these are all dimmed out. But we still have access as a child to the parent and we can make a call to the parent. Not only make a call to the parent, we can send data to the parent. And that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to search for send message. And it's not this one here. You see that? There is that send message there, but that's not the one we're looking for. What the one we're looking for is we're going to go ahead and do it this way. We're going to go send message and it's an event, right? So we're going to click on this. But look, on this particular node, if we right click, there's add call to parent function. So I'm going to click on that. And you notice how it came in underneath it. It's almost like its own separate thing. But what I can do is we don't actually need this event. I just want this right here. This is the node that I'm looking for. And this is the one for some reason that always confuses me. So anyway, we're going to click and go a keyboard press. We're going to click here and go for a keyboard press and we're going to go to one. And we're just going to go and click that in there. And in here, we're just going to say, hi, dad, can you print this for me? Okay, and that's all we're going to do. And we'll compile and save this. Now we're going to go ahead and drag the child into the scene. And the one thing we have to do is come over here and enable auto receive input. 
to player zero one. And what should happen when I press play, well, nothing's gonna happen. The session started, we saw that. If I press one, you'll see the message comes through. So that's it. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.